going, guys? It's your boy K Mount. Taking you guys some duels with Ninja, Horus, and Yo. We had some pretty good duels. So, disclaimer I was able to actually record only two duels. The third duel I could not record because he did not want to be recorded. So, I'll, I only got two duels for you. And the fourth duel, the guy just left. So, I got the win. So, I got two duels for you guys, but it's against Voices Voice back to back. So, again, if you are enjoying these, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe to the video. Don't my Discord, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, all that. Let's get right into it. So first one is against the, the, the good friend of mine, the homie. And I believe I end up going first. I think I go first, which you do want to go first with this deck. I think. No, no, I think he goes first, actually. And uh, oh, I actually did change up the deck a little bit. So I took out Ash completely and I'm running Ghost Bell or sorry, Ghost Ogre. Ghost Ogre is a broken card, this format. It's so good. And my boy got the freaking blinged out voiceless voice deck, by the way. His thing is, whoo, so nice. So, okay, I, I go first. So I'm going to go with Pot of Prosperity first. I'm like, all right, if he has Droll, it's not a big deal as long as I get something good. So I want to dig something super good. So I do actually end up banishing my my Typhon and all that stuff. I'm like, yo, I'm not going to go for, for Typhon this, this match at all. So that's a pretty good target to get rid of. And I go for six. It resolves. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe I get the Hanzo here, honestly. Because I think my hand is okay, but I think I'm going to end up getting Hanzo. Because you always want to try to see Hanzo as much as possible. Oh, no, no. Okay. Okay, I remember. Okay, so I do actually end up getting Notebook in case he does have Droll, which he does not have Droll. So I'm like, okay, cool. We're golden. We're golden. So I'm going, oh, no, some Hanzo, Hanzo effect search. Okay, then he Veilers it. So I'm like, hmm, okay. And then with that, we do go to Bari effect. Summon from hand. We pitch. There's someone from hand here. So he's just reading the card. And I believe I have Green Ninja in my hand, actually. Putting it down and... Oh, yep, a Green Ninja. So, unfortunately, we cannot go for a Fusion here because the Fusions takes di different types, so you cannot use two Warriors. But we can go for a Link, so we are going to go for a Sizo here. Sizo is very, very, very good. Uh, he wasted Valor. Not wasted. Like, hitting Hanzo is actually pretty good, believe it or not. Hitting Hanzo is a very good card to actually stop if you can stop it. But it is what it is. So, I am going to go for Sizo, and I am going to set the... Dancing Lee. Who is this man in the front of the camera? Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, <laughs> come on, brother. Anyways, yeah, so he's reading Dancing Lee to see what it does. You see how he puts he puts my cards down with respect and you know what I mean? More players got to start doing that. Shout out Joe, bro. Shout out Joe. <laughs> so I'm going to set Dancing Lee and I'm going to set Notebook and Pass. Now, again, we're playing Ninjas, so this feel is actually still pretty good. Like, no, no matter what, so... We're golden, so he is going to start off with either the pot or the one for one. Okay, oh, no, he's going to go for that. Uh, yeah, okay, he's going to go for the prep, and I'm like, hmm. I'm, I'm debating if, if I want to use my... I think, okay, so I do go notebook here. So, again, as long as, as he controls a card here, I can summon one from the graveyard and one from the, the, the deck. Well, not, not summon because you can't ask this, but you, you just place them face down. So one spell and trap and or one ninja. So we're going to set uh, green ninja here. And I'm going to go set my equip card. Oh, no, I set duplication. Oh, okay. I set duplication here. So the reason why I set green ninja here. So for one, I set it under Sizo. So now Sizo cannot be targeted for attacks or card effects this turn. And I set Greenja because we do have Dancing Leaves face down. So when we do tribute off uh, Green Ninja, dancing uh, with, with Dancing Leaves, I'll summon out a thing and then Green Ninja will, will, will trigger to uh, Book of Moon one of his monsters if need be. So he's going to go for the Safara in hand. And with that, I believe I let that go through. I Man, I can't really stop it. I have Ghost Ogre in my hand though. So he's gonna send the spell card, and then he's going to search. I think I think that the card sends and searches, and he does search for the uh, Skull Knight here, which card is beautiful. His 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 entire deck is blinged out, like holy. 
like quarter century rare, uh, all that, like starlight rare, all that. So he is going to go for the prosp, and I'm like, hmm, sure. There's, we, we can't even use duplication here, but it's fine. Two, three, four. Five. <sighs> Ooh, for six, actually. Yep. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. He's trying to go for low or diviner. Oh my God, blinged out. And Christy, I saw Christy. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? So I think he does actually get the diviner here. Yeah, he does get diviner here. Not a bad card to get. Normal summon, and I, so I asked him if the, if the effect is a cost to send. He said it's not a cost, right? So my my because we we have ghost bell in our hand or a ghost ogre in our hand, right? Uh, the reason why I was asking if the effect was a cost. Because uh, I wanted to see what he was going to send first. You know what I mean? And then Ghost Bell it. You know what I mean? Or Ghost Ogre. I'm so used to Ghost Bell, right? The reason why I did I did it this way is because uh, with Diviner, they will usually send that big level 8 or 9 lady. I forgot. I don't know her name. But they'll... Her right there. Her. I don't know if y'all saw it. But they'll usually send her. And her effect, she'll have to attribute... A monster on the field to summon herself back so that is actually why i did ghost ghost ogre that because i'm like okay i know he wants to, to tribute off his diviner and then get more advantage so if i just ghost if, if i ghost ogre it now he will not be able to do that but he did have the one for one in his hand which is totally fine with me Um, so right now I'm thinking of like if, if I do want to use my uh, dancing leaves here, which I do not think I do use it. I think I, I'm not too sure because like I could trip it off my green ninja and then on summon of low, I could book it. So I was in debate if I wanted to go for Tabari or not, which I probably, okay, you know, what? I think I do go for. So, okay, I go for Dancing Leaves, I target. Okay, so I target out my Saizo and I go for Tabar. okay. This still works here, actually. This is totally fine. And reality, I could have just left Tabari here in defense mode if I really wanted to. So I should have actually just tribute off my Green Ninja to summon out Tabari. Then on res, his low effect will, will trigger because you know it's low he's turned player then green ninja effect will trigger to a uh, book it face down then uh he will summon skull knight and then use the effect on summon of skull knight i would summon i would use my tabari effect to uh to to, uh, to fuse here actually no i should have waited for yeah, okay, so this this is a misplay here. I should have literally just waited for the, the Skull Knight to actually uh, come out first after he tributes it, because then he would have to activate the effect to bring it back. Actually, no, I don't think it really mattered. Yeah, so I'm going to go for Yagamaro, and I'm going to go... So Yagamaro, Chen Chen, like one target um, his spell card, and then Green Ninja... Target low. What I should have done, I should have gone Yagamaru, target low to banish it. Then Green Ninja target my Yagamaru to put him face down. So the reason why I didn't do that because I assumed this the spell card protects them from, from targeting in general. But you actually do need to have low plus a ritual monster on the field to protect them from, from, from targeting. So at the time, I didn't know that, so I was just like, okay, yeah, I'll just banish that and book that, and we're good to go. So, again, if I had just banished low overall, 
then he would have not been able to summon out Skull, Skull Guardian here. Then we would have been in an even better position. You know what I mean? Because again, I, I, I thought the uh, card said I just couldn't target them at all. Because, you know. <laughs> so, hey, it is what it is. This guy's fixing our camera for me. So, shout outs to him, bro. Shout outs to him. So he's reading what the card does. He says, does it do anything? I'm like, it does nothing. Literally nothing. So you get into battle, attack, and I'm like, that's fine. Then a set and pass. So I'm like, okay, cool. My turn. I draw a card here. So he's gonna use the, the, the trap card here. And now I'm like, do anyone want to do here? Because I do have, so I, I'm going to go Dancing Leaves here to bounce it back to hand. So now we have Recursion for next turn. I have Imperm. Set, set, and then I pass. Yeah, we got nothing else. So he's going to go target, target to pop. And he does pop my Dancing Leaves, but no need to worry. We can get that back with Baku. And field spell, so it's not a big deal. Recursion is crazy. Yeah, if I had just done it that way, we would have been in a better position overall. So he's going to go... I think he's going to just enter battle here and attack directly. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. He's going to set one and pass. So I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, I, I scoop it up. Okay, yeah, okay, I scoop it up. I'm like, yeah, I can't get past that. I do nothing. So he takes game number one. No biggie, so we're going to go into game number two. And I'm like, damn, I really misplayed there. That's why I like recording these and watching these back. You know what I mean? Because like, I get to see the mistakes I've made so I cannot make those mistakes again. Because, again, if I had known I could have targeted low, I would have just banished low. You know what I mean? <laughs> we would have been in a better position. But anyways, game number two, we're going to go better now. My hand is crazy good right now. So I'm going to go normal summon out, Hanzo, Hanzo effect search. And uh, he opens up with no hand traps. So I'm like, okay, cool. Again, I'm always playing like my opponent has droll at all times. You know what I mean? So I'm going to get this. I'm like, anything on res? He's like, nothing on res. I'm like, okay, no droll, no droll. And this deck rarely plays into a nib. You know what I mean? So we don't really have to fear anything too crazy. I just set three and I pass. I go, Ain't, uh, anything on draw phase? He's like, no. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go. I am going to go for duplication, should be for cost. Summon from, from the deck. Which, uh, we do have notebook face down too. So, even if this gets ashed or whatever, he does anything, I could use notebook to protect myself. So, we're going to summon out the one Mitsu, uh, the one Tabari. And one more Tabari here, face down defense position. So we have the Mitsu to, to, to negate. And uh, I was having a brain fart, so I summoned out one more Mitsu, uh, one more Tabari, which that's actually five. And I'm just like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, hold on. The, he'll catch it. Because, like, this is the homie right here. He was just like, hold on. That summons out how many? I'm like, up to level. He was like, what level is that? A four. He was like, oh, you can't summon that. And I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> I had a brain, I had a brain fart. It happens, bro. It happens, bro. So, again, our field is great right now, bro. Our field is super, 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 super good. So now we have a monster negate, a fuse to interrupt, and we do have Ghost Ogre in our hand. So he's going to go for the Sephira effect here. And I believe I let that go through. I think, oh, no, I don't. Okay, so I go, okay, so, okay, I am going to go Mitsu effect to negate that. And now it's, he's gonna go fountain here or whatever it's called. And he's gonna use the effect. And okay, I have uh, I have uh, uh, cosmic here. He scoops it up. Okay, yeah. So we take that game pretty convincingly. Like negating that and then having cosmic is, is super, super, super strong. Plus, I had Ghost, Ghost Ogre in my hand. Let's go into game number three. 
And uh, yeah, game number three, he's going to go first here. He's going to go for the spell card here. Search out low. The deck is so sick, bro. No, I think he's gonna get low here. I know that card searches out like anything in the deck, right? I'm pretty sure, right? I could be wrong. Yeah, I think he does get low. Okay, he does get low. Hmm. Anything on a res? I'm like, nothing on a res, friend. So summon out low, low effects. And I'm like, yep. I, I don't open up a single hand trap at all, unfortunately. So it is what it is. So he's going to go for low. He's going to place the trap card, which is that super cool. And now he's thinking what he wants to do. He can't really do too much else here, if I'm being honest. He's going to link that away into a Link Karibo. When I saw that, I was just like, hmm. Yeah, that comes, um, I didn't know that. That's crazy. He does have Droll and Ash in his hand, though. He does have Double Cosmic. So I think he does end up just setting. He's thinking if he could do anything else here, which he there was not much else he could really do here. So he does set both and pass. I'm like, okay, cool. Draw and bro, I draw, I, mean, I think I had it in my hand, but I had lightning storm. I'm like, yo, I'm going to go with spell and traps. And then he it, it just gets destroyed. Woo! Powerful card, bro. Powerful, powerful, powerful card, bro. Holy. So he's going to go effect, summon out low. And now everything's gonna, going to get destroyed here, which is totally fine. I'm like, all right, cool. He's going to get the fountain here. So he's still in this. He has Green Cribber and low on the field, so I can't just fully, fully kill him. But I am going to go M Seti. And with that, he does Ash. And I'm like, okay, that's totally fine with me. And I'm going to go Normal Summon on Kagero Kagero effect. Bring like a ninja from the grave and or hand on targeting. Uh, even if he had. Um... So we're going to bring back Geo from the graveyard, which I did draw Geo, unfortunately. Very unfortunate. See, having the M city here was really, 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 really good, though. Because holy. So I'm going to fusion these two away. And we are going to go for the Mazen Battle Ninja. And we are going to go into battle. So I'm, I'm going to actually swing onto his... Link Karibo on purpose so he can use the effect. Then I'm going to go Chain Mazen effect, right? With that, we're going to summon out Hanzo in, in defense mode. And it's during the battle phase, so he, he can't roll us or nip us anymore. So I'm going to summon out, yeah, I'm going to summon out Hanzo defense mode. Hanzo effect on summon, search. And we are going to go get Baku. Baku effects, add to hand, effect, summon, summon to the field. Baku effect, we're going to add back Geo to our hands. No, I, okay, I don't, I don't. I should add Geo to hand. Enter battle, attack directly for 13. And now this is where I go main phase two. I'm going to link away. I think I link here. I do link. I link in, in into Saizo. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go Saizo. Okay, it's because I didn't use Baku effect. Broken. I'm going to go Saizo effect. I'm going to go set the spell card here. The equip card, yep. And we're going to use it here. Targeting Saizo. What we're going to do, 
target target uh to pop and now we're going to link away or fuse these two away i either fuse or i link because i do have pot, pot of prosperity face down or in my hand still so I go to SP, so I go SP, chain link one, target, and uh, equip chain link two. Add it back from, from the graveyard to my hand. And then this is where I do go pot of prosperity. Three, four, five, six. I'm trying to get the most value I can. One, two three four five six and i believe i do end up getting uh the cosmic cyclone here yep because we have hanzo in our hand for follow-up plus cosmic he has droll in his hand so if i were to get something else he would just drolled me after so i'm gonna set and pass so now it's not looking good he draws into a card i think he draws in, 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 into skull guardian here Oh, no, it's Severus. So, yeah, he takes it up, scoop it up. But, yeah, we, we don't take over Voices Voice. Pretty cool duel. But, yeah, that one mistake, I could have just played it differently. But, anyways, hope you guys did enjoy that. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe to the video. See you guys next time and have an awesome one. Peace.